Last night, I had a call from a CapCut manager. He invited me for dinner, and after a long talk I asked him to add 5 tools to help CapCut users speed up their editing. Let me introduce the new features. The first one is new pre-processed layers. In the previous version, when we had a lot of layers, animated icons, and effect layers, CapCut would work slowly. We couldn't see our final result without exporting the video sometimes, or using proxies. But now we can just select those layers that are lagging our project, right-click and create a compound clip, then right-click again and choose pre-process. Now our project can work and play better without any lagging. This is a huge improvement. It's like rendering the timeline to help your laptop or PC work better, and it can save you a lot of time. Number 2. The next update is related to the first feature. If you write something and then create a compound clip, you can still make changes to the text without undoing the compound clip. For example, imagine you wrote a diary, but two years later you marry a girl, I mean a real girl. She says, give me your diary notebook, I want to know about your past. Then you realize you wrote some bad and embarrassing things that nobody should know about. So guys, no problem, you can change your past now. After creating the compound clip, just go to the text part, and you have access to your text. Before we go to the next option, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Number 3. You work on a project for a client. After a long and heavy edit, your client says, I don't like that part. Use the part when she look at camera. And you say, wow, yeah, he's right. He knows some cinematography. Usually you move all the layers, but you realize the magnet layers option was turned on. You press Ctrl Z turn it off, and continue like this until you replace the part your client mentioned. Um, actually, the part you chose was better. EMOTIONAL damn it! But now there's an option that can save your time. Just right-click on the layer and choose Trimming. Now you can choose any part of the video without moving anything else. This option has been available in Premiere Pro for a long time, and I don't know why they didn't add this from the start. But I'm glad they did. Number 4. The next option is like Adobe Firefly and Photoshop Beta. You can fill empty areas with AI. First, choose your ratio. I chose 16.9. Then click here and click Generate to let AI fill the empty area for you. Then choose your favorite photo and click Apply. If you're happy with the result, click Confirm. Look how good is that. Or, just type your text and click Generate. For example, Let's see how strong AI is. I type village girl dancing cow and click generate. The best thing is it's free and you don't need to leave the software. The only downside is that the image will have a watermark saying it was generated by AI. So just sit back and use your imagination. Number five. The last one is that you can now send your CapCut project to other editors. Just go to modify, choose copy to project and to keep things organized, it's better to always name your project. Now, if you follow this path, you will see the folder. Send that folder to your friend. Now, you can work on big projects and build your team. One of you can do the rough cut, another can handle sound design, and someone else can do color grading. You can do it all alone like me, but it's always good to have some help. If any of these options aren't available for you, comment on this video and I will tell the CapCut manager about it. And as always, stay creative. Cheers.